What is up, everybody? All right, let's get back to chapter 13 here. How far in are we? 13-8. By the way, all the best characters in Genshin Impact are fire. I'm just saying. Um, let's get the chat thing up here. All right, giveaways. All right, chat, if you want to pick the unit, type in... I hit the wrong button. Uh, we'll just go with eight. That's fine. In-game music. Didn't we already? Oh, no, we're not. We're on 13-8. So we're not, we're not there yet. Slow progress. All right, before more people join, we'll do the thing, so your odds are better. And look, Zog got it. How about that, chat? Inns, Eins, whatever the fuck her name is. Ian. Let's see, what do we got here? Way back here, huh? Weird setup. Uh, wait, how do I hit it if it's right here? I guess you don't have to hit it from a specific angle. You just have to hit it, period, so you could do, like, a sniper or something. Okay. Where's she being? Wait, she's a vanguard. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. All right, this team's fine. Off we go. Since I killed you, I should have gotten to rig the pole. I don't know if that's how that works. We here at Green Incorporated do not encourage treachery. I guess they're gonna go top first. Yep, I kind of figured because they want to make it harder for you to set up to hit this thing. Just the kind of dick move that they would do. All oh, right, she's a vanguard. Might as well move her up so she can hit the thing. Although I could have put it where he could hit all the lanes, which would be kind of awesome. What do? Um. Drawing a blank here. There you go, he can help over there if I use the skill. Oh, it's over here. Fuck. Don't worry, Ash has got it. I mean, her attack speed's nuts. Oh, she won't target it. Okay, there we go. I don't know why when I clicked the skill, it didn't activate. I thought it wouldn't let her do it, but uh, nope, she got it. I was to say, because she can use her skill when there's no enemy around. Gravel things. J things. They really need to be pushing you more over here to make this stage difficult. They're going easy on you. Oh shit, why do I ever open my fucking mouth? I see, the longer you take, the more out of control this is gonna get. Okay, that's enough out of them. That was actually kind of close. Good thing she's overpowered. I'm gonna have to uh, have a lot more damage in here when I do this on hard mode. Should put Courier farther up too. Yeah, I bet you this will uh, they'll make it a lot harder to move this up. I guess those do damage to people around them. Really need perfumer in there. Uh, 
Uh oh. Ooh, cut that close. Ah, oh, stage is over. Now I'm sad. It was just getting good. That's really normal with the uh, filler stages. Let's grab a nice dinner after we clean up the battlefield. My treat. Bert's really on about that treachery today. All right, 12 tiles on the battlefield can no longer be deployed. Oh boy. They love doing this. Where's she at? There we go. Um, what should I change? Hmm, maybe another range unit. Don't need Myrtle. Oh, we'll keep it low, Star. Yeah, I had a feeling they were gonna do that. Making you uh, focus on ranged a lot. I should have moved up courier one square. God damn it. Uh, I'm gonna just freeze to why am I an idiot? Sorry, Doctor. Target's out of range. I, I can't hit them. Planning ahead. Tough stuff. Hey, Gazmog. Let's move. Time is for nobody. There we go. Much better. They'll pay for what they've done. Picked out your bag yet? Attack! Need a healer. Can I have some DP? Jesus. Alright, now we do this. This. See how far she can take that. Perfect. Ash is actually kind of nice for this. Really high hit count. And Ash do that part on her own. Go, go, kill. Let's go, Jessica. Everyone's got a gun. Come on. Uh, yeah, I guess. Fuck. Someone's got to hit it there. Come on, get up there. There you go. Once it's over here, Jessica will get the job done. Bang, bang, bang. Man, uh, Blender Boy is doing pretty great. All right, we got it. Yeah, as long as you kill that and they don't build up on you, it's fine. Yeah, she's quite strong. The only issue she has is only being a one block, but her damage output's pretty ridiculous. She's definitely one of those vanguards that- oh, hi Cairo. But yeah, she's one of those vanguards that doesn't really feel like a vanguard gameplay-wise. Oh, have you not done chapter 13 yet? Feels bad. I'm pretty early in it myself. Damn, she got wrecked. Jessica Tank. I have been happy with Hummus' uh, usefulness in this chapter, though. It's nice to have some use for him. He doesn't get used a lot. Ah, it. It on. 
Yeah, that wasn't too hard. Yeah, we used bagpipe yesterday. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Reapers are AoE. I don't know if there's like a random exception to that, but uh, all the ones I can think of are. Camping out in the garage. I'm not surprised by this. Fucking call sit bad. Nightingale. Chat, who... It's not Nightingale, but it's someone that looks similar that I'm, I'm not sure who it is, but... Wasn't there somebody that, um, when they get a skin, it actually makes them worse? Or actually maybe makes them better? I can't remember. But the, I, I know it's not Nightingale, but it's someone that looks like Nightingale. They, they have, like, a skin that makes them either better or worse. I can't remember. Oh, Angelina is actually the one I'm thinking of, but apparently Platinum, too. I'm thinking Angelina because of their cast or, you know, poofy hair or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's uh, kind of funny, though. Pretty sure it's a pretty minor thing. That's a design. Got a twig for a weapon. I'd like to point out monster is such a shitty plot device. I, I mean this, it's like when they want him to be, he can just beat anybody. And when they w don't want that to happen, he just loses to stupid shit. He's like so inconsistent. It's like Gundam wing plot armor. You know, wharf effect, it's really annoying. I'm not even a Colsit fan, but it's like, they just have monster fail anytime they want someone else to seem like powerful and then but if it's like filler then monster beats anybody, right? It's it's stupid. Yeah, but why do you think he's weaker now, right? That's, that's kind of my point. It's like there's just always some bullshit way to just have make monster worthless. It's just like Tristan in uh, Lost Spell 6. It's like, oh, the servants are blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just an excuse. Like, they make that logic up to justify the bullshit that they want. Like, you could just as easily have done Lost Belt 6 and not made Servants weaker, right? They specifically made Servants weaker just because of Tristan, because there's, like, no other Servants that aren't affected by it. You wouldn't understand. Cool art, though. A lot of good art so far in Chapter 13. Liz, by the way. When do we get guard shining? Or vanguard shining or whatever you want to do. After we get usable frost leaf. 
I'm trying to think, how do you fix Frostleaf? So you could give her a module. You can make it where uh, she attacks faster. That would help a lot. Um, you can have her freeze. That'd be uh, that'd probably be too good to be honest. I, I'm serious. Do you realize how much stronger Frostleaf becomes if you just add the freeze effect onto her attacks? Like she, now she's like a god and you put her with Gnosis and you just terrorize everything. Like, she's just instantly, like, J-tier if you do that, if not better. Be nuts. Although, you still have a lot of enemies that are just immune to freeze, I suppose. But yeah, she would become god-tier if you did that. Maybe what you could do is, like, give her a module that increases her attack speed, makes her stats better. That really would help. Like, that- just something as simple as that really would help. And then have her, like, freeze every few hits, so on her own, she absolutely cannot freeze. But she can benefit if she's working with someone else, like Gnosis or something. That wouldn't be that bad. Oh yeah, doesn't her talent lower her, uh, her speed? <laughs> uh, so dumb. It's like, I e tutored her and she got worse. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, because if she attacks slower, she applies the slow less. Did Nightingale just talk about hearing voices? Isn't her range fine though? Like, isn't it just the same as the uh, other lords? No, oh, that's Ascalon, I think, right? Oh, God. It's that thing. This is kind of a mess. Uh, Friston's better, by the way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Ascalon is Scavenger's boss, funnily enough. Old boss? What, did she quit sweep or something? I don't think so. Although, if it's recent stuff, I wouldn't know. I haven't caught up with a lot of nonsense. Cool goggles. Broken though. Possibly playable someday based on the design. Definitely not a guaranteed one. Sometimes it's just so obvious they're going to be playable. And then sometimes it's so obvious they're not, like uh, red. It's not happening. And Kevin, that was that was one. I saw someone talking about Kevin the other day. What do y'all think? Is Tallulah gonna be playable? I I would say yes. I I, I think eventually that's gonna happen. Maybe at the end of 2.0 or in 3.0. I could definitely see it in 3.0, that'd make a lot of sense. The only way I think Tulula's not gonna be playable is if she dies, and that is possible. So, because if you think about it, you really would think Frost Nova was gonna be playable. It, like, don't lie to me, right? Especially when you, if you got into the game and uh, her being dead hadn't happened yet. Right, so because it's it's a, it's a, it's so known, right? Like Frost Nova being dead is like so like spoiled for everyone, right? But if you look at like the, her design and some of the conversations with her leading up to it, like oh yeah, she's gonna be playable later, and it's ah <laughs> no, she's not. So uh, yeah, it, it's totally possible that Palula won't be playable either. We can cope, yeah, yeah. 
I do think Tallulah is more likely, though, to be playable than Frost Nova. They can't kill everyone from Reunion, right? Although, I'm not gonna lie, I think most of Reunion really is going to die because, like, uh, Guard's probably gonna die. Uh, it wouldn't shock me if Tallulah dies. I'm not, I don't think it's guaranteed or anything, but it wouldn't shock me. Um, Crown Slayer, I don't really see dying. Uh, not a lot of death flags on that one right now. Nine's probably gonna be playable. Uh, that, that seems pretty likely. I actually suspect at some point Crown Slayer is going to turn into a Chad and the meme's going to be Crown Slayer bullies you. I, I unironically think that's going to happen. If you just look at what they've done with the character throughout, that seems incredibly likely to me. All right, what do we got here? Oh yeah, we gotta actually pick somebody. All right, chat. Um, well, what will we pick here? Three, chat. Ace, how come when I look at you in my dashboard, your name is like purple pink, but when I look at you in Moobot, your name is just straight purple? Like what is happening here? And no one else is like that. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because everyone else is is the same. All right, the winner is now fun. Actually rigged. I don't know why, but uh, I'm deciding with Chad. I guess I'm being a populist. It's a manipulation tactic, Chad. All right, what do you want to see here, though? Which stage is it? Uh, nine, ten. So we got a uh, thing here. Two blue boxes. Seems pretty simple. Nothing too complicated. Golden glow. God damn it. She's probably decent for this nonsense, though. Um, caster. He's pretty popular, right? Shouldn't be that hard to find her. Look at this guy already mastering uh, the new new person. She's got cool fashion, at least. Her gameplay looked kind of mid, though. We'll have to try her. It's level 65. Bro, look, it's one thing when you guys do like the, the 80 thing or whatever, but 65? That's just lazy. We can do better. Okay, we got a 91. Why does everyone, why does everyone use this stupid fucking skin? It's like everyone's obsessed with watermelon now. Like it, it's just, it's everywhere. All right. Let's move. I just I just bought a skin. What did I buy? Even though I need to save. Oh, I got the 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 night one. That's right. I haven't leveled her, but one of these days. Um, let's see. I do have to be careful about buying skins though, because I got to save up. I, I I'm I'm so curious at how many rolls I'm gonna have when Rainbow Six rolls around, because I'm really trying here. All right, we got a big boy. Upon receiving damage, reduce the attacker's attack speed. Man, that better not stack up to like infinity, because that would just be terrible. If, I, if that's the case, you got you got to hit him with big boy stuff, because like Ash will just like destroy herself. That could definitely be annoying. And so if you do rapid attack, you're gonna miss out on this thing because they're in the way. Yeah, boy, I think Ash is gonna be bad here. me like that you can't blame me for what happens next he could be good true damage and whatnot 
Boy, she pulled that one. Attack speed shouldn't really be affected by this. That's gonna take a minute. Damn it, she didn't drag him. I'll do my best. Great luck. So wouldn't uh, someone like Platinum be good? Because she does more damage the slower she is, funnily enough. Like I'm sure there's a few people that could benefit from this. That's kind of a fun- I always love when you can turn a negative into a positive like that. Buttons. This will be interesting in hard mode. Oh fuck! I wasn't paying attention there. Should have healed. That's kind of a cluster fucking there. Don't die. Really struggling to get that anywhere. Probably should have faced her sideways, damn it. We're really not doing well with that thing. What's even attacking it? I think it's little, this some red shit is. Oh, Golden Glow died. Whoops. Chat's unit, by the way. I'll do my best. This could definitely be going better right now. Woo, that's a lot of guys. We are just not moving this thing at all. Hey, JP, thank you, or Phantom, thank you for the 57 months, dude. I think we finally got it. Looks like the attack speed down is a temporary debuff. It doesn't last forever. So I guess I can stack those many times as the duration. So I imagine Ash is very, very bad for those guys. Let's see, what can I bring to make that better on hard mode? Let me look at their stats. Probably weak to magic, normally are. Chat, what's your favorite caster? Here's a twist. Um, oh, we'll do Arc Knights first, but I would say we'll do then we'll do all casters and all media. So, Eben, a lot of Eben actually. I respect that. He's pretty cool. Passenger, got some GGs in here. Logos, no <laughs> leaks. Yeah, a lot of people think he's gonna be playable. Wow, is Tommy? Um, how the fuck you say her name? Is is she really your favorite? Cause that's brutal. Cause, uh, how's the gameplay working out? I mean, if you can drive like a very specific setup, you know, you can... Here's the thing, I've used her a bit, and even if you like put a tank in a good spot where she can just like constantly attack with her one hitbox, she doesn't really do any damage still, right? Like, it, they really need to buff her in my opinion. Why is her art different here? Uh oh. Got a Nazgul here. Okay, chat. Favorite caster, period. Right? So, movies, games, you know, your wizards, your warlocks, all that nonsense. I'm actually not sure. I've never thought about this. I certainly like the classical, uh, you know, Merlin. Uh, yeah, Gandalf's really awesome. Uh, I'm not even the biggest Lord of the Rings fan, but, but Gandalf is awesome. 
Yeah, probably the classical Merlin, man. He's there's some like I don't know. I know a lot of people don't actually read Orthorian Legend, but if you actually do, he's fucking awesome. Uh, so yeah, it's probably just good old Merlin. It's kind of a boring pick, but yeah, he good, man. I like Jade from uh, Tales of the Abyss, though. That was a good one. Been a long time since I played that game, though. Too many options. Yeah, Jade is good. I love Jade. Like, every word out of his mouth is gold. Now, from a gameplay standpoint, first caster that comes to mind that I actually enjoyed playing is, uh... What's her name? You know, she's got the owl. Uh, what, what is it? Rinwell. That's the one. Rinwell's gameplay is, like, the best caster I can think of. Let me think. Any other games that were magic was fun. I really enjoyed magic. I don't normally like magic in games. Um, but Rinwell was really good. Let me think. Anything else? There was some Vandicta stuff that was kind of creative with magic, but not that great. Um, I, I can't think of a lot. Yeah, a lot of Warcraft stuff was good before World of Warcraft, before Blizzard became a shit show. The Magic Magician Ape and Ape Escape 2. I've actually never... Oh my god, it's Patriot. Okay, having a flashback here. Um, I never played an Ape Escape game, but I do know of them. I miss Patriot. Are we just flashing back here? By the way, Patriot could have killed her there. A lot of people think uh, he dies before, but he literally could have killed her there and he just decides not to. Yeah, basically he decides to die. He, he figures that's just the best way to screw over, uh, fate. Yeah, a lot of people don't get why Patriot does a lot of what he does. And it's actually kind of stupid because people are forgetting that Patriot doesn't have the reader's perspective, right? It's like up to that point, all he knows is you've been attacking Reunion. And a lot of the factions in Reunion that aren't bad, you killed his daughter, right? Like, he has absolutely no reason to think that you guys are good guys at all. So that's why he's playing. And the reason why he's going to, like, frame Rhodes Island as killing Tallulah is so it doesn't, like, splinter Reunion and make it look like he took out Tallulah for, like, a power grab or something like that. And from where he sits at the time, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because you, you guys have just been assholes from his perspective, so... A lot of people are like, why he's such a jackass wanting to beat up Rhodes Island. It's like, yeah, because you guys have been so awesome from his perspective. Actually, they even say the gorillas didn't, don't know about Mephisto. They don't, uh, and why would they? It's not like Mephisto goes around to reunion meetings and like, yeah, by the way, guys, uh, I like turning people into zombies and torturing bears. Right? He doesn't- they, he doesn't say that, right? So they- they don't know. That's why the, uh, gorillas, when you work with them, are surprised about the zombies. They've never seen them before. But, uh, also, um, Patriot is aware that there are factions in Reunion that are bad, and he actually wants to do something about them sooner, but Frost Nova, in all of her wisdom, you know, using, you know, daughter status, to, convinces him to wait, because she thinks she can, you know, fix Tulula, right? Uh, but he was actually planning on killing Tulula a long time ago when she first showed it, started showing signs of, you know, uh, being crazy. Well, the thing about Rose Island, so at the beginning, from their perspective, Reunion does look bad. And I've talked about this before because they first, you know, their first run in with Reunion is Mephisto and stuff, right? And crazy Tulula. So from, you know, their perspective, that, that seems bad. But 
pretty early on, Rhodes Island gets a lot of opportunities to realize, oh, that's not the case. But they just kind of ignore it, and they're like, well, hey, you know, who cares, right? Um, they're, they're pretty bad about it. Where, ironically, Reunion does the opposite, and this is why I like Reunion, because when Reunion realizes Rhodes Island is not all psychopaths, uh, you know, they actually try to work with them sometimes, and they try not to be violent. And, like, the gorillas, the gorillas at no point... And this is why I don't like Rhodes Island, though, is because, like, they, 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 like, go along with, like, Lugman and, and shit, right? Where, that, that's pretty fucked up, right? It's like, all this stupid shit with Chen and everything, where, um, like, the gorillas never do that. The gorillas never kill civilians. They never side with people that kill civilians. They just, the gorillas always do right by, like, the innocent people. They never do anything shitty, ever, right? So the whole story of Ark Knights, the gorillas never do anything bad, right? They, and now they kind of get, you know, killed because of it, but, uh... Where Rhodes Island is kind of shitty, man. The Patriots guys are kind of the best. Yeah, Ursus, though... Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty much the worst. Like I said yesterday, the thing about Ursus is that the writer isn't constantly trying to make you sympathize with Ursus, right? They're like, yeah, they're the bad guys, right? Uh, or they're like constantly like jumping through hoops to try to justify the stupid shit Rose Island does and Chan and everything else. And it's just kind of aggravating. Ursus are kind of just assholes, like the, the, the military anyway. Yeah, I actually really agree with Guard leaving Rhodes Island. Like, I think it makes complete sense. The thing is, Rhodes Island doesn't kill any of the Yetis at Lugman, but they don't protect them either. And they, and they know they're innocent. And, like, that's just shit. You know, meanwhile, you know, the, the, uh, the gorillas wouldn't do that. Just because it'd be like, oh, it'd be tough, man, if we went against... Lugman, they don't care. It's like it, uh, they're gonna stick by what they think's right, where Rhodes Island is kind of trying to play both sides there. Yeah, just a pharmaceutical company that has a giant military for some reason. That's a whole other thing, though. Boy, this guy looks healthy. Like, here's a, one way to put it. I think if Rose Island wasn't the character perspective. So one, they didn't have plot armor. Um, I think people would have a very different uh, perspective on them. I think why everyone's constantly trying to be so in their favor is just because they're the viewpoint faction. Which happens all the time. I always found this funny when you like, you have a show like Code Geass or something where the, the viewpoint character is not like kind of is just like one for one like the villain of a lot of other anime right like his motivation his his uh ends justify the means all of it he is just classic anime villain right and then, but everyone roots for him because he's the perspective character where in another anime where you have a character that does the exact same things everyone roots against them right so people are just kind of just like that Suzaku is pretty annoying. I won't. I won't lie. I'm sure someone's a Suzaku fan out there. Man, I haven't watched Code Geass in a while. I tell you, I've always been annoyed with the second season, though, because the first season's, like, amazing, and then the second season's, like, okay, now we're gonna let Sunrise get more involved, and it's just so obvious, because in the, like, in the second season, uh, they do a bunch of death cop-outs that they didn't do before, uh, they bring a bunch of people back, um, yeah, there's just so much stupid shit in the second season, it's like, why is this here?
Yeah, this is like the most screen time an elite's op has gotten in uh, a while. So, chat, I would like to point out that every playable elite operator, for some reason, doesn't wear the elite operator uniform. And then the larger number of elite operators that are not playable all wear the uniform. I, I wonder, I wonder how this happened. I, I wonder what, uh, what caused this. And what really pisses me off is the uniform looks better. Like, fuck. Yeah, I guess, well, Rosemont is kind of does, okay? Cause you're, chat, you're really muddying the water right now between like wearing it and not wearing it, all right? It's more like she kind of wears it as a cape, kind of. A lot more like tattered nonsense going on there. Uniform gatekeeping. She's certainly not wearing it properly. Target All right. Down. Mission clear. No setbacks. I know, it, it is kind of silly that Rosemontis is an elite operator. I, I've always said that. Uh, yeah, let, let's look at the thing here. The ordinary, doctor. What's lame is though there's actually... They don't have all the elite operators in here because they're not... Um, I, I, don't, I don't know why they, they do it this way. Because why do I always forget how to get to this fucking... There it is. Um, because they have people in here that aren't playable. But like... The um, Mechanist Sky logos, right? Like, there's a bunch of elite operators that they don't put in here for some reason, but they are part of the squad. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't really get that. So that's Rose Montes, so I, I can't show that. But yeah, the, right now the only two playable ones for uh, it, global anyway is uh, Blaze and Rose Montes, right? And they they look very different than the, the other ones. Uh, and then Logos, who's blatantly going to be playable. Looks more like them, right? Opposed to all the uh, the other ones. Can you get like a full picture of them? Yeah, I, I, that really sucks. They don't have the other ones in here, like uh, Outcast and and so on and so forth, and like uh, the mechanic guy. He he did I think color his uniform quite a bit. I think he's yellow. Uh, I think. Yeah, it sucks, so I can't actually look at Rosemontis. Isn't she actually rare as fuck because she was only- she's, like, limited? One of the first limited people? Stop mentioning Outcast. Look, it's not my fault. Okay, hold on. I- well, I'll, let's see if we can find somebody that has one. I- I can't even think of the last time I saw one of my friends list, though. Let's see here. I, I I don't mind logos, but I don't like them nearly as much design-wise um, as the other elites, honestly, like Sharp and Pith and stuff. But, I mean, it's fine. I don't I don't like dislike them or anything. Okay, any uh, Rosemontis enjoyers out there? I'll put mine up. Okay, we'll get you eventually. I'm sure here we can actually use her in this stage. That might be fun. I could see her being good here. Man, uh, that's upgraded. Why is my music scuffed? Alright, where's Ace at, man? Ace check. Jesus. Wait, she's a sniper? That's right, she is a Why Why does she gotta be so fucking weird? Like, with that gameplay, she's a sniper. Like, whatever. I can't even think of another unit that plays like her at all. Which, I guess that's not a bad thing, you know, it's nice to have unique units, uh... But yeah, she's not- she's not normal, alright? Grey altar? Why does Grey have an altar? 
Like, how did that happen? And wait, does he actually play like her? What? I, I don't I don't even yeah there, there he is I, I did not remember him having gameplay like that at all but we only used him one time so random this is uh this is taking a minute where's the fuck is Asa okay well there we got shrines uh let's see See, chat, this is what I'm talking about. This is really not wearing the uniform, okay? She has, like, a cape thing on, but this is not the uniform that all the other elite operators wear, right? Okay, so this this is, like, half of the uniform, right? This is, like, you wear the uniform jacket, and that's it, all right? This, this is not the same thing. 120 pulls, no hoarder. Oh, that sucks, man. All right, we'll try her out here. And then what the fuck is, is Blitz doing? Right? Like, trying to be a unique snowflake over here. All right, let's be here. Hey, I'm free to play and I love it, all right? Look, here, here's the thing about being free to play in these games. You gotta pick your battles, right? So don't roll all the time. Uh, you gotta, you know, enjoy what you have. And here's the best thing about free to play, by the way. Now, like, people, you see whales trying to shame free to play all the time and trying to show off and blah, 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 blah. You, you ignore that stupid shit. This is the cool thing about free to play. You don't have to spend any fucking money, right? Like, it's great. If you, you fail to get what you, if you fail to get the thing, you didn't lose anything. Imagine spending like $80 or $200 and you get nothing to show for it, opposed to spending $0 and having nothing to show for it, right? And then when you get the thing that you want, you get it without spending any money. It's great. I actually love being free to play so much because one, it really does get you to value the things that you have, which I think is an important life lesson period. And it's also just nice, right? A lot of times you'll have like these mid tier characters that everyone else shits on, right? Much like I'm shitting on Rosemont uh, Rosemontis' ability to put a fucking uniform on. Um, but anyway, everyone you know shits on these characters because they're mid-tier or whatever, but they're actually totally viable, useful, and can get the job done and win stages for you. And so it gets you to use them, and I actually like that. So I, 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 I would, I could be a billionaire and I would still be free to play in these games because, well, you know, I might give them some money like for skins or whatever just to you know support the game, but. I, I really like being free to play, I really do, because it's it's just more rewarding, makes your experience more unique, like the things that you get uh, stand out more, right? When you get like every fucking character that comes out, uh, you know, it's it's not very special, right? I'll put it that way. And also your gameplay, if you have every unit, I really mean this, if you have every unit, you're just gonna, you're gonna, don't, don't lie to me chat, you're just gonna copy paste the meta. You know, you're, it's like that Buzz Lightyear meme, right? All the people that like roll all the time and get all the ops, you know, they don't really, they, they, they just do the fucking meta, right? So it's like, like literally everyone else, right? It's like, oh, how exciting, right? I like in Gosha games how different people have different experiences. They have their own power units. You know, I have Ash and then someone else has actually a useful six star, but you know, it, it's nice. You know, the different people focusing on different things, right? Now, I know it is frustrating though, when you try to get something and you can't get it, right? I know that, that that's frustrating. But I always do though, and like, if, if I fail to get something I want in one of these games, I just remember look at all the cool shit on my account that I've got that I do have, right? And you go have fun with that, and you just save up for next time. Um, but that's also why I don't roll very often in these games, you know? I, I really pick my battles because I don't want to fail, right? When I do roll, I want to make sure it's something I really want, not just like kind of want. But yeah, I know it sucks when, um, you know, you're trying to get something and it doesn't work out. A pink thing incident. That's exactly why though. Cause that was so bad. Oh my god. Like that that took so long to get Gavel. It was crazy. That wasn't that my, my last tin roll when I actually got her? That was fucked. Uh where did I put Rosemontis though? I guess the sooner you do this the better, because these other big guys aren't here yet. She may not be uh worth it here anymore. Got that Demon Souls music right now. 
That is a hell of a hitbox. Gonna actually drop a healer in here at some point. Boy, the attack speed right now is kind of rough. Ready to go. I'm all stuck. Watch for the blast. Man, my DP just feels like a lost cause over here. This hitbox is broken. Okay. Whoa. What happened? Like, I swear he disappeared for a second there. <laughs> that was weird. How should I know? Well, she's trying, but I feel like this guy is really resistant to physical stuff. That seems to be the case. So, chat, now that we've talked about Rosemontis, I really do realize how much Blitz stands out and actually logos because at least she's kind of wearing the uniform right now oh, i i really have to stress the kind of part but yeah what the fuck is blitz doing then yeah i know they reduced the attack speed it's uh it's pretty brutal her pest Yeah, these guys really just stop m you from moving these, I suppose. I guess we're not attacking it, though. Yeah, her attack speed is so slow right now. She grabbed them! What are you doing, stupid? There we go. Jesus. That took forever. Yeah, this attack speed thing is definitely going to be suffering. Shoutouts to Pure Stream just being like the dumbest healer ever. Such a broken hitbox. Those guys, I don't think we're here before. It's gonna be annoying. I can bait the stun with gravel or something. A little split tile here. Bonk him! Chat, why does that sound like you're summoning Cthulhu? Like, it, it, like, Jesus. Well, she seemed to kill that guy pretty easily. Yeah, her stats are pretty damn high. Why aren't you sharp? I mean, uh, thank you for your con contribution to the team. <clears throat> Really going slow over here. I just realized if all of these went for uh, more of you? Courier, we'd have a really bad time. We must have slower redeployment or something because Cutter is not even close to being back here. Well, time for Ash to make a joke out of herself. Yeah. Pretty shit. It does look like the attack down is capped. Like, it hurts a lot, but it's not like she goes down to negative attack speed or anything. That was close. That guy almost got through. Can we get Cutter back? Fuck. I guess he killed one of those guys. He did have Toter helping him, so I guess it makes sense. Your orders. Bonk. I'm not gonna lie, she's doing really well. Like, she's fucking melting people, and also, just anytime there's a problem enemy, she just deletes it. That's pretty strong. Like, every time a big boy started coming through here, I just clicked the button and then they disappeared. And she does seem pretty good. Very rare now, though. Yeah, it seems like it.
wouldn't mind getting all the elite ops just out of principle, but uh, obviously I like Sharp and Pith and them a lot more than Rosemontist, I'm just saying. I'm having a Dathomir moment. Alright. Oh, what even was the thing here? More ca... No, that's normal mode. Oh, it's a different stage. Yeah, increased redeployment time. I, I had a feeling that was the case. Oh yeah, I think someone said turn the music on for this one. One moment. Nothing out of the ordinary, Doctor. All right. Free stuff. I think I need these. Yeah, I only have three. I really do need to look up the Rainbow Six People's mats. Chat, they did not make the Rainbow Six event permanent when they reran it, did they? I, I haven't looked into that, but I'm just assuming they didn't do that. I imagine because of Ubisoft stuff, they don't want to deal with that. I wish they would, though, because OD8 was really fun, and uh, I like that story a lot. I don't know, maybe they did. I don't know. I, f I figured we would have heard about it if they did, though. CN players. Yeah, they're pretty rare, honestly. You know, has anyone noticed? I, I guess it just maybe is the way the game is. I don't know, but I feel like FGO has a lot. It's very easy to find people that play JP FGO. And all the, all the like content creators for FGO play JP. All of them. They may not main it, but they all play it. Um, Arknights is not like that. Like, uh, Arknights, uh, it's pretty rare that people play CN. It's really only the people that make guides and stuff because they need a head start, right? Um, and, and I'm like this, you know, I, I don't play FGO NA. You know, I want to, I want, uh, I want to always get the stuff as soon as it comes out and cutting edge, yada, yada. But I'm not like that with Arknights. I'm totally okay with waiting. So, yeah, I guess six month delay does help. You do have a good point because waiting six months doesn't just feel like you're so far behind the time. Like fucking two years is just absurd. Like, holy fuck, it's stupid. So yeah, that, that is definitely part of it. Because when I think about it, when I played Vandictus, that was like six months behind, and I, that, I didn't really care. So yeah, that, that is that is for sure part of it. I think there's, I think that, that's probably one of the biggest factors, but I do think there's more to it than that, though. Um, I guess FGO might be easier to play. Um, because like, they don't have like, this kind of shit. You don't need to know, like, you don't have things like this pop up like on hard mode and whatnot, and uh, they don't have all these wacky game modes, and a lot of the menus are in English on JP and stuff, so I think it is a lot easier to play FGO. I, I, I really do, I think playing FGO is, is actually really easy on JP. I remember when there was no NA version and I got into it, it was like no problem. Like it was just not an issue at all. But I, I could see Arknights actually being kind of annoying. Like you won't be able to read the module unlock requirements and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, two years is fucking brutal. All right, we only have one blue box, but we've got two of these things. That's pretty rough. Oh, yeah, we'll do the chat thing here. We shall make it... Uh, we're talking about Elite Ops, so we'll make it Elite Chat. There you go. Chat, what's your favorite Elite Operator? Mine's obviously Sharp. I, I, I don't know. After Sharp, though, it's pretty tough. I really like uh, I don't know, all the... A lot of Logos is there, I see. Looks like Sharp and Logos are, are winning here. We got some Blaze. See a, a touch in there. Any Piths? Any Pith enjoyers? Well, I don't see a single Pith. Like, I didn't say Pith either, but I do like Pith a lot. Some Stormite. Wow, I don't... I see every Elite Operator except for Pith. I, I literally see every single elite operator except for Pith. That is brutal, dude. 
She's pretty cool. She's got like nice voice lines and stuff. And like what little she showed up in the story, she seems pretty cool. So that's sad, dude. The mechanist, uh, actually, he's he's really awesome too. I know Pits like a module is is fucked up. They, wait, I, can they just make them playable, dude? Yeah, it looks like Sharp and Logos uh, when A A as the fo the fucker name is. She's not in the lead up. And neither is Tulip. Uh, people get that one confused a lot. I'm not even sure Tulip's on a team at all. I'm not. I'm not actually sure. Okay, let's see who the winner is. The winner is oh wow, that was rigged as fuck. But yeah, I didn't. I saw every elite op but Pith. I actually feel bad because like I, I Pith is like in my top three. I'm not sure where exactly, but she's probably top three. Blaze, that's pretty fitting. Oh fuck, we don't want to do hard mode. Dude, it costs forty. Eight stam just to do hard mode like that. I hate that's so awful, dude. I didn't even enter, but rigged. Yeah, Blaze and Logos though, really uh, not respecting the uniform here. This is not, this is not standard issue chat. Not even close here. Okay, that's the unlimited duration one. Could be good. So she's she's a Centurion, right? Yeah, yeah, right there. I feel like Centurions a lot of the time, aside from just the AOE, they're not that similar a lot of the time. I guess I haven't used that many of them though. But like Blaze and Gavel aren't really that much alike with like their skills. And then Fuse is coming up. And he's over there staring at walls and blowing holes in them. So it's like, you know, I, I don't know what the theme is here other than just being AOE. I hope Fuse is good. I don't think he will be. But what I've heard, I've not, I haven't watched any gameplay. And I don't want to see any, right? I'm gonna, uh, I want to use him for myself. Um, but from what I've heard is his skill one is actually pretty good. It's like, uh, you know, better than you think for an S1. A lot of times S1s aren't that great. Uh, and then his S2 is just super situational, which sucks because his S2 is like his thematic ability and stuff. So. Uh, Guard uh, was under an elite operator, but I don't think he... I don't know how that works because like Ace had his whole squad, right? You had like Green P and all them uh, dead, by the way. Um, but I don't think they're technically elites. I think they're just being led by an elite. Um... They're not really clear about that though, but I would I don't think he would I don't see why he would because like he's not at that time he wasn't that powerful, he wasn't that experienced. Um so yeah, I don't, I don't think they, they count. Yeah, guard worked under Ace and he was part of his squad. Uh, and like Sharp has a squad that works under him, but I don't think the squads that work under them, I don't think they're considered elite operators. I'm not sure they've ever said, but it'd be weird if they were. Also, their performance is, you know, substandard, I'll just say, for an elite operator, so. No offense, just saying. All right, um, what shall we bring here? Like, Tallulah's really powerful. Like, she's really, really strong and everything, but I'm pretty sure if she fought, like, the amount of A squad people she fought, if those were all like sharp equivalents and stuff, I don't think that would have gone so well for her, right? As strong as she is, right? But you know, she obviously killed everyone in Ace's squad except for guard, so. Hmm. If she was fighting, you know, low ghost, outcast, sharp, pith, uh, you know, the whole, the whole squad there, I, I, I actually think she would lose, like, legit. I don't know, though, Tulip is, uh, Tulip, what am I saying? Uh, Tulula, all these T's, yet, uh, Tulula is super strong, so. Not exactly normal there. Um, okay, we get one six star. We'll stay with Ash, because that's just, I don't, don't want to, uh, like, this is too good, so. 
Ash is like our shtick here. Uh, I could see Utage being good. Gravel's definitely good. Jay's fine. Go to healer. Yeah, I know Dijin Breacher is actually stronger than a lot of people realize. She's actually nutty how strong she is. And uh, not only does Sharp keep up with her, but he's not really even... He's not trying to kill her, so... And Sharp... Sharps are probably, though, one of the stronger elite operators, to be fair. Although Logos does seem super strong, too. Yeah, Dijin Breacher is actually, like, crazy strong. Maybe Meteor... Probably want like a tank. Got a Vanguard. The Amala. Yeah, Sharp is definitely uh, way stronger than like the average, you know, operator or just combatant in the Ark Knights world. Like it's not even close. Cause like Courier's not a bitch or anything. Like he he's pretty competent. He's been good so far. We'll, we'll do that. One more. Might want to cast her. Orders ASAP, please. Blood Knight, though. Actually, I do suspect Dejan Breacher is stronger than Blood Knight. Uh, like, her track record is kind of insane. Like, it, it seems to me that uh, Dejan Breacher is definitely implied to be stronger than Neural, and Neural is almost, like, tied with Blood Knight, so. Although, I guess Blood Knight's not in his prime anymore. Like Neural's in tip-top shape, Blood Knight's not. Yeah, I would say Neural would lose against the Gen Breacher right now, but the thing with Neural is it's not like when she fights Blood Knight, it's not like she's at the strongest she's ever going to be. You know, that's kind of her thing is she's, you know, young and on the way up and all that kind of thing. And so she's probably going to get stronger as the story goes on. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. What I want to see is demons, man. Like, we only get, like, echoes of them and then them possessing people and stuff. We don't really get to see what they can do you know, like, full-on in, in, like, their uh, normal state, like, way back in the day. So it's it's hard to know where they land in, like, the pyre, power hierarchy. They're obviously really, really strong. It's, like, really blatant with the stuff they say about them and stuff, but... Like, Steam Knights used to be common, so that's kind of awesome. When you look at what, like, demons are guaranteed to be very high on the tier list because uh, the world in Ark Knights was a lot stronger a long time ago, and they, they were fighting Patriot when he was younger, and they were fighting Steam Knights and shit like that, so they're fucking bananas. Um, well, yeah, exactly like where they are in the hierarchy is hard to say. I was actually kind of disappointed in IS-4. I, I like it. It's fun and it's great and all that, but, like... First off, it's the first roguelike that doesn't have non-canon endings, which I actually hate that because the non-canon endings let them kind of show you stuff. Like you get to see the Seaborn at their best where you can't, you don't get to see that in the normal timelines, obviously. 
So I was hoping we were going to get an alternate timeline where we got to see like actual demons and shit, but no, they didn't do that. Like, well, that's so bullshit. Like every other roguelike has non-canon endings to let them like show you stuff that you wouldn't normally get to see, right? And then the demon one, the one I'm most interested in, is the only one where they don't do that. And we don't get, we only get to see like, you know, demons influence and like their orbs and shit. We don't get to see actual demons, right? Like it's fucking lame. Like I was, cause you get like, you know, alternate timeline, Seaborn apocalypse, right? In IS3. So I'm like, well, maybe we can get an alternate time lord, uh, timeline uh, demon apocalypse. Right? Nope. Nope. You're, you get a fucking portal. That's it. Yeah, they might just, it might just be later, you know, 3.0 or 4.0. Like, that is, it's certainly possible. Yeah, I guess there is an IS4. Don't, nope, don't spoil. Oh, no, I don't want any information about stuff that hasn't, for, like, uh, the IS4 stuff. I don't want spoilers on that. Yeah, I know. I, I've heard the non canning ending for IS1 is, uh, the dog dies because she uh, overdoses. It's kind of messed up. Thankfully, that's that's not canon, so you don't have to worry about it. Chat. What if we get way down the line? We get demons versus Seaborn. Wouldn't that be an awesome? Uh... Always love when you have big bad guys like that that have really nothing to do with each other end up fighting. That's awesome, like Godzilla movie stuff. Especially with how demons have just been so in the background, uh... In Ark Knights. I actually do think demons are probably going to be the final... ...baddie of, like, this first saga of the game, right? You know, they might do, like, a 2.0, 2.0, if you will, but, like, uh... You know, this whole, like, Tallulah, Ursus, you know, that, all that stuff. I do think they're kind of leading up the demon bullshit. It's either that or aliens, but I think the aliens are going to be like way down the line or even in a different game entirely. No, I don't think uh, Seaborn do encounter demons in IS-3. Um, because I I'm sure they encountered stuff like Emperor's Blades, but like as of the world right now, like there are no full on, they're not like, uh, they don't have like a strong presence in the world right now, so. It's like, at most, they would have encountered one Steam Knight. That's not the same thing as, like, Victoria and its golden era and whatnot. And, like, whatever Ursus's ultimate goal is, that hasn't happened in the IS-3 timeline. Or, or the, you know, side timeline and stuff. Yeah, I saw a lot of people that took what they said in IS-3 as Seaborn or the strongest thing in the Ark Knights universe, and that is blatantly not the case. Because, like, the way that timeline is, all the other factions don't, they're not at their peak. You know, you don't, it's not a timeline where, like, they get their best stuff back or summon their best stuff. That's just, that's not how it is. And, then, uh, and obviously, I think the most, I think the big baddie right now uh, that they want to be the ultimate uh, thing is definitely the aliens. Like, that's, that's definitely, I think, uh, the shtick. Yeah, I mean, like, that, that's, that's my point, though. It's like, IS-3's alternate timelines are, like, it, it's the Seaborn timeline, right? It's, like, it's like where they get to be at their absolute best. And it'd be nice to see that for, like, the other factions. That'd be really neat. Because you can't, the thing is, you can't, you literally can't just, well, I mean, I guess you can, but you, you really can't have all of the factions in the same timeline get to their, their best, right? Because that's a complete clusterfuck. Right? You can't have demon apocalypse happening while a seaborn apocalypse is happening, while an alien apocalypse is happening, right? Like, like while ancient technology is coming back. You, you, that's so stupid, right? Like, there's no room for all that. So that's why, like, the alternate timelines are really good for, like, sh you know, kind of showing... Yeah, that's Warhammer, right? I'm literally describing Warhammer right now, right? Which, I mean, I guess you can do that, but Ark Knights is not, right? That That's just absolutely not what this game is.
Yeah, the observers, I don't think they plan on using like soon. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't, if, if they use them, it'd be like way like, you know, 4.0, right? Or whatever, or a different game. Um, we'll see though. They definitely want them to be though this big, correct me if I'm wrong, right? But from what I understand, the alien, because humanity is pretty much just straight up said to have been infinitely stronger than the Terrans, right? Uh, and they ultimately were no match for the observers, right? So like all this crazy bullshit that you have in, on like with the Terrans and stuff is no match for like the civilization humanity had, right? And, and then that was no match for the observers, right? So that means all the bullshit that the Terrans have is just completely, you know, hopeless uh, against the observers. So it's clearly it's stronger than like the Seaborn and, and the demons and all this nonsense. Kind of weird though, uh, <laughs> aliens. Uh, they, I, I was actually looking at this, so they did hint at a lot of the, the fake sky stuff and whatnot earlier. It's not like they just threw that at you in oh, no. Lone Trail. Like they do mention that you you know, you know couldn't use like the stars and stuff. There was a lot of stuff hinting at the sky being fake. So they, I do think they had actually planned a lot of this a long time ago, but I do think they could have done maybe a better job of, of building into it. Question is the Ark Knight story in a good place or is it like Fko's story? I, I think it's be definitely better than Fko right now. You know, Fko is full on filler right now. I will say 2.0 is pretty fillery though. Uh, it's it's less fillery though than what Fko is doing right now. I'll definitely say that. Um, and the thing about Ark Knights is they keep moving the story forward even when the main story is kind of being filler because Ark Knights is not afraid to make events really, 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 really important. And uh, they make events permanent, so they're kind of just more of the story. So Arc Knights can kind of just drop, you know, plot bombs out on you out of nowhere, uh, where that's not really the case in FCO. FCO events are just so filler, it's like painful. So FCO story progression is just the slowest thing I've ever seen. Right? Where Ar and Arc Knights was kind of smart because they kind of did. In this case, they actually are kind of similar to Warhammer. They have a lot of like just different stuff that they can kind of have come into power and be dealt with and whatnot and kind of just have a, they have a lot to dig into, but there's no, they don't have to dig into it this second. So that they, they, they are not even, they have so much ammo. It's not a big deal for them to like expend ammo, right? Where Elf goes like afraid to reveal what's behind the curtain. Cause they're like, oh my God, we're going to run out of ammo. Right. Or Ark Knights just doesn't have that problem because they built a world, um, Again, a lot more like Warhammer, which can be a lot more expansive, and they kind of they can do a lot. So I've, I have found Ark Knight. My thing is Ark Knight's story has been more satisfying, but I like um, I like the characters and stuff in Fate more, right? Like our Ark Knights, like I said the other day, like their character designs. You know, everyone's a pretty boy if they're playable, and if they're not a pretty boy, they're not playable. Um, F goes a lot better about that kind of stuff. And then uh, where fate excels is the things that aren't F go. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it. Um, you know, fate excels when it's fate zero or fate strange fake or, you know, whatever, you know, the, 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 the other works outside of the game end up being really good. Uh, where F go itself is kind of mid, you know, it's got cool stuff. You know, it's got some compelling stuff in it, but so much filler. Honestly, I don't think it's even close. And I'm, I'm a, probably a bigger Fate fan than an Ark Knights fan. Um, but, you know, I, I think FCO's story is really overrated. <laughs> like, it's it's got a lot of problems. I don't think that's a hot take anymore, though. I think if I said that, like, three years ago, I'd get crucified by the FCO community. But, uh... I think people have kind of just realized just how slow it is and like I, the, the whole um, ordeal call I think was the last straw for a lot of people. I will say if Ark Knights could sort out what I said yesterday about you have this like really serious world, uh, really serious backstory, um, but, but then like the characters are, are randomly like harem characters out of nowhere. Uh, if they could sort that out, I would like the universe so much more, right? Cause like Lone Trail is so fucking awesome, but it takes me so out of it that the entire, it, like the entire cast 
is like waifus and i don't mean that as like, a problem with women you know being the main characters that's not a problem it's just it's so like out of place when you have all this like backstory and seriousness but then like the cast just feels like it is a, a gacha game right it feels like a game trying to pander to waifu culture right that takes me out of it a lot you know like the characters aren't like pith for example right you know, and, for, and, for, and it's not like there's even a reason for it right because it, sometimes in life and real life and fantasy and all that it's fine for a lot of the cast to be you know more specific like you know like a group of female friends or whatever or like in world war one it's gonna be all guys in the trenches right that's fine um but it's like lone trail it's almost like oh it's just a coincidence that literally everyone that's important is a waifu Right, they're they're all in that age range. They're all got that kind of you know fancy design. They're you know, and then you have Tin Man, who's blatantly not playable. Right, like does anyone disagree with me here? That is just so out of place. Right, like I cannot be alone in just seeing how blatantly out of place that is with like the kind of universe they're trying to build and like the the atmosphere they're trying to build. Um, that really just doesn't work for me. Right. Uh, again, it's I don't even have a problem with any of the individual characters. It's just kind of like Arc Knights does that a lot, like a lot, where you just have this giant cast that just feels like it's out of a harem anime, and for and they just happen to be stuck in a mafia war, or you know, in an apocalypse, or you know, what have you. And it's just like this doesn't really sync up that well. And you know, every every you no one can deny this. No one can deny this. Every fucking character that looks like they fit in is an NPC, right? Like, you know, Blood Knight and, and, and so on and so forth. All the characters like, yep, they really fit in here. What a coincidence that none of those are the ones you can roll on. I know, like, click, right? You go from uh, all this, like, demon backstory, seaborn, all this, you know, drama with the infected and all these nations and, and catastrophes and, and and then click, though. Right? And, but, the, the, but click is a, a combat operator at Rhodes Island. It's like, what are you talking about, right? Like, it, it just makes no sense. And if it was like a rule of cool game or, or parody, that's fine, right? But Arknights is trying so hard to like establish this universe and be kind of like Warhammer or something, right? Uh, so it just that that like clash is really out of place for me. And then on a oh we got we got music, but on a more subjective front, it also just kind of annoys me that there just is not a lot of variety, right? The character designs are very narrow. And Ark Knights compared to Fco, and that that does bother me. This is a banger though. Um, okay. I don't know why these guys have this color shit on them. Oh, I see. They can enter this from multiple directions. That's gonna be kind of annoying. Blaze it. I know I would love the the elite operators. They're uh, really cool. I'll be go there eventually. I gotta work on this um, probably sooner rather than later. This is a lot of dudes. Oh, they're already coming over here. Okay. Ash doing actually respectable damage. Okay. Not sure what Gravel is doing, but uh, finally we get the uh, zombie apocalypse chainsaw. Hmm. Up. Impress me. She's impressing me. Oh my god, she's impressing me. Doesn't give a fuck about the attack speed down. Jesus Christ, you Tage, though. Like, fuck those guys. Ready to go. Stay clear of the blast. 
did not give a shit. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I really have grown to appreciate Utage. When I was like, you know, initially getting into Art Knights, I didn't level her forever. So I was doing one to three star, the one to four star stuff. I just never leveled Utage, but my God, she's so good. I, I legit recommend, like, if you get into Art Knights, you know, and you're, especially if you're free to play, you definitely should level Utage. It would not be the first operator I recommend leveling, but I, I, I'd level her pretty early on. One on one. This is a lot of dudes. Your orders. That way he can hit right here in an emergency. Oh, that's too many. Shit. Okay, we need more damage and stuff in here. Blaze seems really strong here though. Yeah, I... Especially, especially when I do one to four star stuff uh, with the more modern stuff, I cannot imagine playing without Utage now. Like, there's so many bosses that you need to burn down. Like that, that uh, the American hunk of junk, the plastic monstrosity, right? Like Utage was so fucking useful for that. And there's just, I can think of so many bosses where you need damage, like when the boss falls over or, or whatever, like they have like a vulnerability phase. And being able to just drop Utage on it, like Cutter or something, like combined, is just like a way to get way more damage than you'd, you'd be able to do. Like Rathian, right? Rathian in the collab event and stuff, Utage was super good for him. And like, they've really been on about bosses like that because they're trying to stop a lot of the like boss killers and stuff, uh, or they're expecting you to have big burst damage. So she's just a way for you to meet that kind of damage requirement that you need uh, sometimes. Don't see a lot of need for uh, Donkey here. It'll be Durnar. Ready to deploy. Where am I needed? I actually love Durnar's English voice acting because she's got like "Don't be an idiot" and all that. Uh, makes me like her a lot more. Matterhorn's still my favorite tank, though. I'm trying to think, are there any six stars or five stars? tanks that I like more than Matterhorn. I don't think so. I like Neural a lot, and she's got a tank version, but um, I still like Matterhorn more. The reserve defender operator, though. That guy's a Chad. No, Jessica's not even close. I like Jessica just fine. I I, I do like uh, Zerny, how the fuck you say his name? I do like him a lot, but not not Matterhorn uh, uh, level. Um, but yeah, Jessica's fine, but she's not even close to like my top tier. Yeah, I, I think Matterhorn is my favorite tank. Uh, I'm pretty sure. He's also Cliff, Hart, Cliff Hart's bodyguard. A lot of people I don't think realize that. Um, you know, activating this early is good because they're not even here yet. Let's go. I'm all stocked up. Target spotted. Okay. Like, I like Blemish Shine, you know, uh, and all them. Uh, you know, the whole Neural family is cool, but still not not Matterhorn level. I think I'd, I might like Mjolnir more than Matterhorn, but he's not a tank. Like Mjolnir's a pretty cool character. I want to like Hoshi, but I I hate that faction so much. It's kind of hard to like anyone on that faction for me. I like her service level personality and all that. Like that's fine, but I really dislike that faction. Huh? I 
you wanted me here. She picked the wrong team. Not chin slander if it's accurate. Gonna need like Durnar in here, I think. Oh, she already killed them both. Thick. Can I deploy there? Yeah, I can. This thing's not really going anywhere. Look at all these dudes. Hopefully we got enough. She's definitely helping. Okay, got them. This hasn't even moved yet. Durnar's another budget unit that I think has actually gotten better with time just because the way they design stages has started to favor units like her more. Like, I think you can get all... You can do all of 1.0 with, you know, free-to-play units, right? Low stars and never use Durnar and you won't even notice, right? But now some of these, like, newer things are starting to be more um, useful. I've used uh, Hoshi so rarely, I, I don't really know how strong she actually is gameplay-wise. I've heard though she's like insanely tanky. Oh, oh no, no. <sighs> We're so close, man. Yeah, we're getting ratted on here. This is where like a stell might be good. Could put Blaze down there. We're kind of not needing Blaze up top. Probably do that when it's hard mode, put her down there. I kind of want to do it with the, the, the normie crew here. Oh, I didn't know Perfumer had an English voice actor yet. I'll have to check that. Pretty used to her in JP, so she'd have to be pretty OP in, in, in A to, to win, but I'll check it out. Or well, Thermex was English from the get-go when I got him. It was this update. That would explain why I didn't know. Um, let's see. What can I do here? Who are we not using? Ironically, uh, Perfumer. This is a weird pick, but deployment letter, uh, limit actually matters here. Also, he's like the OG robot. All right, you got to put some respect on Castle's name here. Probably send Courier back when we get far in. Oh, Thermex. Excuse me. I'm thinking. thinking um, I'm thinking Friston. It's because they're both the Chad robots. So. I'm conflating them because they're the, the most awesome. But Thermex is so good in Japanese, dude. I love that VA. I'll, I'll check them out in English, though. There's lots of great voice actors out there, so. That is why I was confusing them, though, is because my brain was just like, yeah, that really awesome robot. That, that's why. I almost want to move her up even more so she can actually attack it all the way. Like into the the base here. That's kind of rough for her though, but we'll make it work. I guess drop her first. Yeah, I guess go here, because he can block on this tile. 
Sucks I don't get to hit over here, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, Bl Blaze is really not struggling over here. There's more of you. Ugh, what a day. Your orders. Oh, I forgot you talking. Ready to go. Easy. Get that shit moving. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Okay. Good luck getting the other one. Okay, that's a bit tougher. What? You think I'm interested to see this in hard mode. I could see it being pretty spicy. This uh, blender down here is working out pretty well. Look at all those guys. Get in there. Oh, I see it. You got to put it there. Fuck. Me dumb. Me no understand physics. I see foul taking off. Probable ambush in there. Stay down! There's more of you? What a day. Man, Blaze, though, really not giving a shit about anything in this lane. Getting a little concerned in here. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? <sighs> These guys don't seem to be that interested in moving, though. Ready to go. Great luck. Come out. Stop hiding. Ah, screw it. Bring it on, all of you. We're gonna win without getting this through, I think, which is kind of impressive. Just how much bullshit is in here? That's the last chunk of them right there. Man, I bet you La Pluma and units like that we are really good here. Who is the strongest Reaper? Let me see. Can't even think of a six-star Reaper off the top of my head. Executioner Alter, isn't he one? La Pluma for real, for real. Yeah, I don't know if I got that. There's only him, really. Well, I imagine he's insanely good here. Do you have to kill all these stupid crystals to technically win? Oh, you have to get the thing through, I think, because um, I guess they're, they're not dying for real until you get it through. God damn it, game. Yeah, you, you gotta do it if you like it or not. Come on, good thing this team is self-sustaining. Guess we don't need her. Get it in there. I'm on. There's more of you. Uh, 
In, in, there you go, we got it. Like this is 31 out of 31, but this stage isn't over. Alright, let's check out hard mode. What will the extra effect be? Brain and enemies will differ. Uh oh. And five tiles are no longer deployable. I wonder what's changing. This is always rough when they do this. All right, now for red stages on hard mode, we'll bust out our other ops here. All right. Um, let's see. We'll probably replace her with Gator. Seems pretty good. I hate this stage. I saw the normal mode was nice, so we'll see about the hard mode. It's gonna work, chat. Get the... Does his redeployment thing work all the time? Yeah, that, this... Yeah, yeah. Because I know the attack up works all the time, so that, that's just a permanent... I, I love these combined for robots, dude. It's awesome. Big fan. Can we get Thermex in here? Oh, yeah, hold on. Let's, um... Not to be a killjoy, but let's... Check out some of the English voice acting here. Nothing out of the ordinary, Doctor. Um, let's see. We'll do Perfumer first, because we use her all of the bloody time. Nope, that's not how you do it. Let's see. So this is a battlefield. I won't be afraid. Let fragrance revive your mind. Come on, chin up. How do you like this scent? Stay calm, my friends. Good job, everyone. Go I mean, it's fine, and it's exactly what you would expect out of perfumer, so. Oh. I'll always stick with JP, though, just because I'm used to it. But I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with it, right? It's exactly what you would expect out of perfumer. I always knew we'd win, Doctor. So long as you're the one in command. Yeah, we'll we'll stick with JP here. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what one would expect. Uh, where is Thermax? This would have to be so godly because I like the JP so much. Friston is so good in English, though. Oh my god. I have heard an expression from the east. No martial art is infallible, except for heat. Doctor, it's a great honor to be with you. My burning heart just can't calm down. And by that, I mean the Raytheon Industries custom-made full thermal arts impact generator I have installed. In the beginning, God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, let there be power. And there was the high-performance variant of Raytheon's Challenger Hellcat. So, he's made by the company that Jessica, like her family, owns, right? Ready to launch! Charging up! I'm here to help! Detonation imminent! Sonic boom! Oh my god. Deploying thermal shock! Watch this! Praise the heat! Aren't I awesome? I knew your command would be a perfect match for me, Doctor! Bravo! Bravo, Doctor! I mean, he's really good. Like, uh, I, I, it fits really well. But uh, I do think I like the JP more. Some of that's because I'm just used to it. But uh, the, the, the VA for him and JP is just so good, man. Like, when I think Thermex, I think of that voice. It just kind of is what it is. But he's great in English. Like, that, that's that's very fitting. 
Sonic Boom is pretty good though. Does Jay have one yet? I'm really curious uh, now. Man, why they... A lot of the ops that I really want to get English VA still don't have it, man. Yep, Deer Mud. Yeah, I will say Bagpipe, if I had her, would be in English. That's too good. Like, that's, that's just that's too good. That's hard to top. Like, m I think Molnir is, like, just undefeatable in English, dude. I don't think that could have been any more perfect. Um, like, holy shit, he's good in English. All right, let's see what they got for us, Garen. Blaze. I don't want to try Blaze bottom now. But maybe the map's going to change a lot. Um, I want to get Thermex on this team when I got the shorter cooldown. I love that stuff. Maybe a bad idea on a stage this hard, though. Thermex over Blaze for real, for real. Uh, I'm sure someone's got Thermex slotted. Max probably does. Might not need him with us having... Gavel now. It's not bad though to have some backup. Max, I see. Do I have maximum Thermax? Let me see. I think I do. I may not have 200 trust. Yeah, not 200 trust yet. That only matters for friend unit though. But I got max potential. That was really recent. I'm close. And then Friston is going pretty slow. I'm trying, man, but like, still need two. I've been doing nothing but Friston tags for quite a while. Slow progress. So, chat, is he referred to as Friston 3? Now, now he says, you know, he's not Friston 3. He's like, fuck the number. But I think it's because you have human Friston. That's Friston 1. Friston 2 is the AI. Uh, and like the, you know, that was overlooking the, the coffins. And then Friston 3 is now him in this body. I'm pretty sure that's why it's like that. But yeah, he's just like, I'm Friston, no number. I love him so much, dude. Like, and his whole plot line is kind of wild. Why would humanity grow horns and tails? This stage of biological evolution is past my parameters of understanding. I know tens of thousands of years have passed. Calcet has mentioned this countless times. Hmm. I will need a bit more time to formulate my deduction. I used Friston 3 more times than I thought. Zero cost, three block, deploy is nice. Yeah, he's probably the best robot, actually. It's not that hard to find a use for him uh, because of the no deployment limit and stuff. And he's tanky enough to actually hold a lane uh, if it's not like crazy shit coming at him. My code name is Beagle. I know I didn't do very well on my assessment, but also Boomer robot, I, I love him, dude. Yeah, unironically, Friston is very high on my favorite characters in Arknight. Like, his, his, his whole story is really awesome. And then he's like a grumpy old man and a robot. And hell, even on this stage, I'm seeing some reasons why you might want to bring some zero deployment or no deployment cost units but the, the way that went where can I put him maybe don't need Jay but I have a feeling we're going to I guess we'll just try it with castle first and we'll we'll see like if we need hummus or not Curious what the map's gonna look like here. So what? What's different? 
obviously the bad guys are different but like it said five tiles were changed i, I guess this is higher up yeah obviously these guys are now yeah i don't really see it. i i guess like yeah this was one down and maybe this tile these two tiles weren't here I don't know what other than this moving though. I don't really see what changed. I have a feeling Ash is not gonna cut it for these guys now. I guess we'll see. I don't have high hopes. Looks like the red ones slow, slow your attack speed more. That's pretty good. Ash is garbage. Oh my god. I hate when I have to replace Ash, but I don't think she's gonna do anything. Ugh, this attack speed down. I, 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 this is rough. God, that's nasty. I'm gonna throw him out now just to get the uh, bonus. Ash, why are you even here? Whose car is this? <laughs> it's, it's so pointless. Definitely having a hard time with the DP right now. He's still a gamer. Oh, whoops. Definitely passed his uh, skill timer. Man, this attack speed down. Pretty rough. Blaze doing well down there, though. Chat, why is Ash even here? She's not accomplished anything yet. Like 83 damage with that attack speed. Absolute meme. Moral support, yeah. You're better off with uh, Chanka or Blitz. No question. I'm not sure what keeps damaging her. Probably this caster. There's more of you. Uh, what a day. This part's gonna be tough. Yeah, Ash is definitely the first unit to get replaced here. Oh boy. Neural looking pretty uh pretty decent here. I'm all stuck. Stay clear of the black. Okay. That, that just that needs to go back. Um At least they're holding bottom without any issues. Unironically, Thermix would be nice here. Dropping him when these big waves happen, I think would really help out. It's a lot more damage. If Thermix and Castle's buffs together, you will shred people. You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Oh damn, that's not good. 
The canisters are definitely what's getting us. Fuck, I don't even know what bled there. Jesus. Okay, well, Ash is garbage. The only thing you could use Ash for is maybe the caster's bottom there. That's like the only useful. And she's okay for pushing the cart, but we don't really have the means to get to the cart right now anyway. Um, probably that. Could do her first skill. I could see that being decent here. But we'll stick with the second skill. Probably don't need gravel because we're not really able to push the cart. I don't know if she's good here because there's so many blocked up tiles, but we'll see. You only have to move the bomb though, like once you kill all the other enemies. You don't technically have to. Do it. It's good if you can do it early, but it's not like you have to do it. Now, if I was using pure low stars, I probably would try to get this thing going quicker though, just to stop these fuckers sooner. I don't think we want gravel looking that well. I mean, she kills this guy. That's pretty hey, useful. Hey. She just does it kind of a, a slow manner. I should have dropped this for a uh, Yato there. Might want to bring Myrtle. It's always the case, but if it's good, it's good. Whose car is this? Uh, how should I know? If we get our DP going, we'll be fine. That caster dying is really nice. So there's more of you? What a day. So much AoE. You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Yato's pretty busted here. I wonder how her attack factors on the the cart thing. Yato's kind of making this easy though because all the annoying enemies I can just get rid of for free. Man, Texas Ultra must be so broken because she's like better than Yato at most things and, and Yato seems so good. Also, like, wouldn't Texas Alter's third skill just, like, dumpster this stage? I'm pretty sure it would. One on one. Stop guy, huh? Oh, that guy's dead. I swear at some point I'll worry about the cart. It just hasn't really mattered. I really want to use Yato with Castle 3 at some point and see how much damage she does to those dudes. What? You think you're gonna grind me down with numbers? Okay, it's probably time to start moving this. Though we never use Neural. It's not yet. Guess we'll see if we end up needing it. We might need it. Uh, we might just need to move Silver Ash to clear these guys out. We'll see. Oh, we're not done yet. This is getting kind of out of hand with the amount of grunts. 
that are here. Standing by. There's more of you. Uh, what a day. Okay, we gotta move it somehow. Sniper would be nice. Yeah, we may need to move Silver Ash so he can be over there. I mean, it technically moved. It put Gator looking up, that might help. And nobody can really hit it now. Oh boy. Oh wait, Toter can hit it. That kind of helps. Hi. Safer for the next one. Man, where is Silver Ash at? We need a hand here. Getting kind of grim here. So that's our target? Silver Ash, buddy. Come on. Work with me. Okay, that's not good. Why is that guy even... I guess, does he respawn? I guess those guys do respawn. Fuck, that's bad. Get the thing over here. It's so close. There we go. Okay, so in here is done. Yeah, these guys respawn. That's fucked. I want to send her back so she can help bottom. But, um... I kind of need her help every once in a while to stabilize this. Yeah, I didn't realize the casters respawned. That's pretty cursed. And Toter hit that? Yeah, he can. Bad luck. Maybe not the most optimal way to get it in there. Oh wait, you're not supposed to do that one. You're supposed to just click. Fuck! I just wasted so much time. Not a word, chat. Not a word. Look, I'm getting it. All right. That's all that matters. Slow and steady. Oh yeah, we got it, we got it. No problem. Wow, she kills them so quickly. Neural D 
didn't do super great here. We kind of, the way the setup was, it was kind of hard to use her in a good way. So, I imagine with budget, you're going to use Estelle and Durnar or something like that. I still have a long way to go. Definitely, you need, you need to move that first one so fast so you don't have to dedicate as much effort to top. That's a fun stage, though. Actually, so far, I've actually loved Chapter 13. All the, like, major stages have actually, they, they haven't, they've been just fun, right? They're not like, fuck you. Um, we'll see how it goes, though, as we get further in. But yeah, so far I've enjoyed it. Nothing out of the ordinary, Doctor. So chat, someone here earlier was saying they're kind of slowly easing themselves off of FGO and getting more into Ark Knights. H how many people here are like that? Because I, I think it's a lot. And that's probably me, like on there's kind of no way around it. Uh I just wish they had better character designs. Like, the variety is not real over here. That's a, that's a lot of people, though. I'm sure we'll get some new games down the, the road, too. I don't see myself ever giving up Arknights, though. Like, uh, I just like it. You know, yeah, the, the character variety is maybe not it, but, you know, I, I could see me, even when there's a new fancy game that I, like, love to death and we're all into it, when uh, Ark Knights drops new main story and stuff, uh, I think I'd always come back and check it out. Same for FGO. Like, I don't plan on abandoning FGO, even though it is absolutely a dumpster fire. Like, there's a lot of characters in Ark Knights I do really like, but it's lacking a lot of style of character. Like, this is undeniable, right? I don't think anyone disagrees with me on this, and if they do, you know, please say so, but I, got, I just... There's the it's a lot more narrow with the character design, right? It's, I, I like Noir and Yato and and Neural and, and stuff. So of course, right? there's a lot of characters I really like, but the overall like designs and just archetypes are a lot n more narrow, right? Like you, you don't you don't have characters like Ivan or, or Hercules or Beowulf. Um, there's there's just a lot of stuff you just do not have over here. Um, you know, it's just it's a and a lot of Chinese games are like this. They're just a little bit less. Um, um, I don't know how to put it, but they, they're just a bit samey, right, with all the designs and stuff. But they have got, I will say, they have gotten better, and I know the devs have, like, been intentionally trying to get better. Like, I would say this last, like, year, um, year and a half, they've, they've actually improved a lot. Like, um, you've got, you know, Hummus, for one, and then the guy right now... Uh, obviously, I don't like his character, but I like his design, and they've never had a design like this before. Um, and they've been making a lot of NPCs playable, which people have been asking for. So I, I think Arknights actually might get there. I think they actually might get to the point where they start having a, a lot like more variety with the character archetypes and stuff. Because compared to day one, right, it's so much better now. I do like some of this loot we're getting, though. I just wish there was more LMD in here. It's like, this is not, this is not great. Rhodes Island is always so lively. I am curious that at some point, we haven't had like a really big game drop in a while in this scene, right? Like a Genshin. Um, it will happen though. I think at some point we're gonna get like Devil May Cry combat. Uh, in a game like this, it's going to be on PC and all that, and on mobile, and it's going to do really well. I don't think Withering Waves is it. I, I think it'll do fine, but I don't think it's I don't think it's going to make waves, if you will. Again, it's it's very limited in its character designs. I don't think they're I don't think they're quite there with like the movement. I think it looks like a lot more fun to run around the world than it does in Genshin, but they're still like making it you kind of slow and sluggish and like you. It's, it's not, you're not Jet Set Radio when you're running around the world, right? But I think that's going to happen. You're going to have a game that just makes, like, traversing super fun, and the combat's going to be super fun. You're going to have, like, really, really good boss fights and stuff. It's going to happen. It does look better than Genshin in terms of gameplay. I will give it that. But yeah, the designs are just, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I think it it's a step up from Genshin in a lot of departments, but uh, I still think it's a... 
it doesn't have the marketing that Genshin has and that kind of thing. And because like you're like, oh, Genshin was so popular and it's better than Genshin, so why won't it be popular? Because like it doesn't work that way, right? Like that's just not how it works. Um, it's kind of like when COD blew up back in the day, and I'm really dating myself, but when COD was the video game, it all these other video games trying to be like COD and they never get, got anywhere. It just that's just not how the industry works. Yeah, there's Zaw. We get Ethan Allen, our boy Rex, the Chad. Don't jump scare me like that. Oh, the monster just pushed me into the pit. Now I have to do a no death run. Rip. Nothing out of the ordinary, Doctor. We run this stream, Chad. All right. I am really enjoying chapter 13 though. This is definitely a chapter I, I could see me coming back to just replay for fun. The chapters so far that I definitely want to come back and just replay for fun are like chapter seven, chapter eight, chapter 10, chapter 13 here. Um, chapter 12, I think, am I getting, I might be getting my numbers confused here. Which one was chapter 12? No, fuck chapter 12. Uh, Chapter 11, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, 10, 11, 13, uh, seven and eight. Um, those are all pretty sick. Okay, chat, type in, we'll go with seven for uh, our boy page, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to play Tiaria, but I might not play it today just to mix it up. Uh, we'll, we'll see. A lot of games I wanna play and whatnot, and I am kinda pooped today, but uh, we'll, we'll keep playing it. I've definitely enjoyed it. I don't know, I might just like chill and play it. Have a really laid back stream. Wouldn't mind playing more Ninja Gaiden at some point. I fucking love Ninja Gaiden, dude. What a game. All right, the winner is Finrear, who won twice yesterday. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't mean anything by that, chat. I'm just, I'm letting the masses know, you know, they, they might want to be aware. I really do need to go record the it's not fair and upload all that. I think people will enjoy chat. So I said I wasn't going to work on any emotes until I was done moving and and fixing up my property and, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, but maybe maybe we work on one emote early and what I'm th and the reason I've thought about maybe doing one emote early is because I've noticed chat in its angsty teenage years will say that really likes their wrath and maddie and pinoco w you know all that stuff so maybe we get like a fluffy mad emote right that's that energy that fluffy would be so good for that right your fluffy wrath or something uh i i could see that being a good one but yeah, that, um, yeah, I, I do love that stinky one. That one's great. But yeah, maybe I'll uh, talk to uh, D.Va. Any chance D.Va's here? Any uh, D.Va check? I don't think they're here right now. But uh, maybe we sneak that in, because I, I do think chat would uh, appreciate a, uh, a wrathful emote, if you will. All right, we got a pit. I kind of want to bring Cliff Art then. We'll go more budgety again, though. I, th I think for the non-red stages, generally. Although, I tell you, I think it was chapter 10. There were so many white stages that were infinitely harder than the red stages. Like, some of them were just fucking brutal. Like, they were just awful. This has been a great chapter, though. Uh, I've really liked it. I, so far, my favorite stage... I do like this one, but my favorite stage so far is this one. Um... This one was awesome. Like, I really, really liked this one. This was actually some of the best use of the cannon I think they've done in a while. It was really nice. It was also just whack to have the cannon come back. Oh, hi, Devo. But yeah, I was just wondering, like, if um, you'd be free to work on an emote sometime soon. Uh, I know I said it was, was going to be a while, but I do kind of want to get a, a wrath, you know, a wrath emote made. Have that vibe of, like, Maddie, you know, and uh, Pinoco. W, uh, with like a fluffy emote. And what I especially want though for a mad emote, it really, I really do want something 
uh, like Pinoco W because it's so clear, right? It's so easy to see, right? It's just, it's so, you, you know what it is, right? It's fat staring at you. But um, yeah, like that Maddie Wrath, you know, that, that style of emote. I really do want something like that, but fluffy, right? I, I love our classic fluffy emote, by the way. It's still one of my favorite emotes ever. I'm, I'm such a fan of it. Yeah, we need a wah too. We do, but th let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like, like I said, right now I'm really, really fucking busy and I want to, you know, have the time to go back and forth with Diva and make sure it's like fucking perfect, right? Um, yeah, don't take, don't rush it at all because I, I am so swamped right now that, uh, yeah, you're not in any, any rush here. But, um, yeah, we can talk about it on Discord later. Um, try to figure that out. But yeah, eventually we definitely want a, a wah emote. Uh, we need, I want a Rue Blank emote, like so bad. And then like Ash dead, right? When life gets to you. Th that's that's definitely gotta happen. Like uh, Ash is just perfect for that. I think that's what we're gonna do moving forward. Our emotes are most, like of course we'll have some exceptions, but like Fluffy and Ash, I think are perfect for our uh, our emote template. So I think that's what we'll, we'll do. We really do need a bigger or a better wink emote. I, I literally commissioned two wink emotes and I'm not super happy with either of them. They're fine, but I don't, I really don't think they captured. What is that other wink emote? Yeah, the, the fucking nep wink, right? Like it, they really just did not capture that. Um, it's too small. It's hard to see, right? Like the nep wink, it, we really want that, but Ash, yeah, someday we'll, we'll definitely get that. That's like perfect. Like that's so like confident you did a good job, you know, kind of uh, look there. And like the visual clarity is uh, is really important. All right. Wait, who won? Oh, Fenrir won, excuse me. Fenrir, what unit do you want? Let me downgrade the, the rarity here. I wonder how helpful Castle was there. It's hard to say. We deployed him a lot. We're getting that damage bonus. Oh, Mudrock, we've... Is Mudrock not popular? I don't even know because it's so rare that anyone picks Mudrock. I always thought she was super popular, but uh, we really do not uh, see her around these parts much. Let's see. Uh, got our boy Courier. Leave the scouting to me. She's boring. She is kind of set it and forget it, I will say. She is kind of one of those units. Uh, I kind of like her, though, just in that she's a tank that smacks. Right? That's kind of a fun... I think she's actually pretty fun if, uh, like, the rest of the team is pretty low rarity. And then she's interesting in how she synergizes with the rest of the team and what she can get done and what she frees up the other, like, low stars to do. But if she's, like, one of many six stars, I do think she's just going to be kind of whatever, right? But yeah, I think in the right context, she can be pretty fun. Yeah, Chad actually does not pick. Is Mudrock really meta? I guess she probably is. Yeah, Chad doesn't pick like the super meta stuff too often. They normally only do it if the stage is like stupid hard. Uh, like Chad never picks Molnir and stuff. I actually hate how good Molnir is because I like his character so much, but he's way too good. Um, I will say this, and I, I, I'll, I'll. I'll probably do this if I ever get him. If he is the only six star, right? No, no Ash, nothing. He's the only six star. Because he has a lot of downtime where he's not even blocking. I don't think he's as, as big of a carry as people think, right? Like you've got to be able to hold down the fort when he's not up, right? He can't cover the whole map. He can cover like two lanes generally. And he has a lot of downtime. So the team still has to function without him. Uh, but he can also kill really, really hard to kill enemies that you normally would just have such an issue killing, right? You can just obliterate them. So he does make things a lot easier, but I'm not sure he's like the carry, right? Yeah, if you make the whole team stall, there is that. And, and like, if he's combined with other six stars, you're not going to notice his downtime at all, right? It's not going to be a problem. All right, Mudrock. I think this one's, you still get the normal armor people always hating on the armor man all right let's try even no ash here not so far ash has not accomplished a lot for us but uh we'll make mudrock the only six star here i will bring cliff heart though i never feel bad about bringing click cliff heart because 
you know, rope works really well, and you, you get cliff art from a fucking mission board thing, so it's like, he's an honorary four star as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Let me look at the map again. Leave this I kind of forgot me. what... Okay, one blue box, so mud rock probably right here or something. The cliff art here or here. I mean, she's got to reach all the way across. You could also put cliff art here, and things that are coming here she could grab and pull in. That's not bad. Yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. Chat, I'm, I am curious, how many people play the game like I do, or like use low stars often, or you know, don't bust out your broken shit unless you, you really you know, want to, or the stage really calls for it? Because when you really do have an ultra prepared account, you really can wreck this game to the point where it's kind of, you know, silly uh, outside of the uh, cardigan event. But I, I'm curious how many people, when they get, when they get their account, you know, after playing for a while, to so like that, the, because when you're in your first year of playing, your, your account is just not going to be that strong. But when it does get that strong, I do wonder how many people try to... Like, like pace themselves, if you will. Man, I played four stars only so much. And I still go back and do it from time to time. Honestly, the reason I stopped doing as much four star stuff, though, it's not gameplay in terms of, like, their power. It's just I couldn't really progress anymore without leveling Flick and, uh... Pinecone and stuff. Like, I, I just couldn't. It got to the point where I had to level click in them, and I just didn't want to. I was like, I would rather, you know, occasionally throw in some rare stuff uh, and, and not do that. It does suck, though. Um, like I said, I do still, you know, like just the other day we did a full four star team, but like, um, I do kind of miss when I was literally just four stars, but um, the, the, I just. It's not like FGO where I like a lot of the low stars, right? I love a lot of the low stars in FGO. I just, I'm not, I don't like a lot of the low stars in, in Ark Knights. There's so many kids and shit. I think it is really fun though, when you pick like, you know, you only have a few rare units at a time, because then they really get to shine and you get to see what they're unique at. And then a lot of the other stuff is low stars. I really love that kind of gameplay. I, I'm, I super enjoy it. And it's like, when you got a character you really like, if the rest of the team is low stars, you know, that team gets, that, that unit gets to shine a lot. I know Ace is really big on uh, Eben. I mean, he likes him a lot. I, hell, I like him a lot. I don't have him, but uh, maybe someday. Anyway, let's bring... Bring at least a really fast sniper in case we have issues. Kage's been doing well. Gravel's been doing well. Why can't Indigo have the gameplay of Click? And then Earth Spirit have the gameplay of Indigo? Right, and Orchid have the gameplay of Earth Spirit. Why uh why can't we that would that would be nice. And then can we have a guy caster? Can we get can we have a four star like dude caster that's got like the classic wizard get up, you know, and a beard? Like Jesus Christ, I'd master all their skills so fast. Hmm, I'll bring... You know what, I'm gonna try to... Well, no, I'll do Matterhorn first. Best I can do is gray. Sadly, that is the closest, even though it's so far away. Like, listen to that! That's not what I want to hear when I'm doing free-to-play stuff, all right? Like, God. Dude, so many meta setups for free to play. It's like deep color, click, pine cone, pure stream, gravel, right? Like, what a fucking and like, what a goddamn team is that?
I haven't seen any old dude uh, characters that are going to be playable yet. Doberman is pretty good. Uh, he's not quite on that level of like Jay and, and some of that really disgusting stuff, but she is pretty good. I'd say she's like just under Cutter. Like, Cutter is pretty fucking broken. And she's just shy of that. Alright. The click is definitely super busted. And she was always busted, but this recent era of content where, like, magic damage is really rewarded, like, crowd control's been really rewarded and stuff, uh, she's just disgusting. She's better than most of the five stars in my experience, uh, not only just because of what she does, but because of her cost, uh, and such, so... And you're gonna have her max potential a lot easier, where your five stars are probably gonna be pretty low potential. Design disparity here, by the way. That's not the kind of, the mail there is not what I'm talking about though with like the not playable stuff. I'm talking about like all the bosses and all that kind of stuff. You know, you can just tell they're not going to be playable uh, a lot of the time. There is the uh, healer guy we're getting, um, who's got Kaneth's VA. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I actually love that voice actor. I don't know a lot about the character yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I would love it if Jesselton was playable, dude. He's actually awesome. Did streamers say Kaneth? No. Witch King being playable would be pretty dope. That's not gonna happen, though. And if he did, they'd reincarnate him as a teenager or something like that. It's just like Blood Knight. If he's playable, he's not gonna have the helmet, man. These guys getting grabby. Yeah, Ipen is kind of similar. Can we get um, Ag Heal and Steward when they're older? Like when they're like 30? That'd be fucking dope, dude. Anyone here play the old school Fire Emblem games? And, and even like the mid year like like uh, ike right like ike in what was it path of radiance is like your typical jrpg main character right he's just like the typical boy mc right and then in the next game he's swole as fuck right it's been a few years and he's fucking massive right can we have that for some of these characters That really was uh, an unexpected progression for that character. They don't really do that a lot for characters like Ike. Like, sure, they might have them grow up if it's like a second season of an anime or something like that, but not not like that. Ancel Ulter would actually be awesome. I would actually love like a, an event set way in the future, way in the future, right? And you've got Anc old man Ansel, right? Like that would be really interesting actually.
Yeah, Melantha's... I, I'd be shocked if she didn't get uh, an adult version. That would, that would be really bizarre. She's super popular. I'm actually surprised it hasn't happened yet. Orchid would be cool. You know, chat, you know what would be really cool is maybe like an older, wise lady operator you know, has seen some shit that maybe uses, I don't know, a gun, right? Uh, maybe maybe they're like an elite chat. That, that, uh, that, that sounds pretty unique. That would be a, a nice one. Nice, you know, role model. For, uh, you know, the younger operators, that, that'd that be great. And what is... I guess this is some Sarkos disgusting nonsense coming up here. Shattered Greenhouse. This does not... This is what I'm talking about. The gameplay oftentimes being really out of sync. Like, this background is obviously nothing to do with... Like, we're in like a shed or, or some rundown house or something. Alright, let's get... Her set up nice and quick. Yeet! All right, we have Mudrock. She is so expensive. Yeet again. That's working out pretty well. I guess Perfumer would have been good so she could heal Mudrock some. A really nice thing about Perfumer. So there is no thingy. Well, that's interesting. So, she's holding this lane so far completely on her own. Okay, that one's gonna get through. No biggie, though. Should've waited for that one, but whatever. I can afford to be lazy now. Nope! You don't get to live. You don't get to play the game. Meanie. Yeah, there is no bomb, so I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do, to be honest. I guess just keep killing for now. Oh, we do have Perfumer. Excuse me. And I messed up my positioning then. Maybe if they die in the pit, they don't come back? I don't know. Mudrock is doing quite well though. You still don't get to play the game. Getting a little scary back here. Oh, more of you. Uh, oh, oh, he's still alive. Excuse me. Chat, this is getting a little out of hand. I don't know if we're progressing or not. I, I guess we are. Has Mudrock taken any damage? Like, of note? Doesn't really seem like it. She's kind of just spinning a lot. Oh, 
Cutter's damage is surprisingly low on these things. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do here. Let's kill all the thorns. I think you have to kill the thorns faster than they spawn, essentially. That'll be easier once this one's gone. There's no thorns if you drop them in there like that. Um, I'll need to kill these faster then. Looks like gravitying them is pretty effective. Camp the little shit. Why is that one back? I think you need every enemy to be dead at the same time here. Which is going to be difficult with the operators that we have. That's not a thing. I don't I, I don't think there is one. I guess I just need to kill faster. Supposed to just knock him all into the pit? I don't even know. I don't get it. We have to kill them farther away. I think I need to kill them when they're not in range of this thing. So they need to die right here. That's what it says within range. It's a bit silly. Are you ready? That's the only thing I can think of. I don't think it's in range in this tile right here. Good to know because I'm sure there'll be other stages where the best way to get rid of them is just killing them out of the range of these things. That's I think what this stage is here for. Well, that was a bit silly. No enemies in sight, but I'm sure You'd think them falling in the pit would count as dying outside of the range. Maybe it maybe it was. It just those were different ones. I'm not actually it does? Oh okay. We uh, could have used a push then to kill the other lane. I don't know, you probably could put a uh, cliff heart like here, looking this way, and it, she might, no, well, if you get them right there, she might pull them into the edge. What's the hard mode version gonna be? Friendly range units have reduced max HP. That's no big deal. You, you could do that with basically no range unit. That's not, that's not a problem at all. 
I mean, the enemies have higher stats, but... Okay, chat, I'm gonna take a break there. I need to eat. Um, do you guys want more Tiaria or something else? Uh, I do want it to be pretty chill, because I, uh, I'm pretty exhausted. But, um... Like, if people want Tiaria, I don't mind. It's easy to play that when I'm pooped, for the most part. And kind of just chill out. All right, yeah, we'll probably do that. Maybe in 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna eat dinner, take my time, and then we'll uh, we'll come back with some digging and fighting eyeballs and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm loving Chapter 13. We will definitely play, play more of this out of the ordinary, soon. Let me grab my loot though. All right, I will see you guys later. Take care.